everybody and welcome to Atlanta for race number three of the IndyCar season. Eric Dobbs and William Brock are on the front row with Brock's on the pole. And there's Joey Murphy already making a pass for the second spot on Eric Dobbs. This race is the hottest race of the season. I think it's actually our, our only as our first day race. Of the IndyCar schedule. The rest of the race is a bit at night. This one, it's 95 degrees here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And William Brock is going to lead. Right there is Audra going for the lead. Then it's Tim Randolph. Then it's Matt Montoya sitting there, P3 right now. William Brock trying to hold his own in the top groove. But these guys are flying as Audra's in the lead. Tim Randolph about to take it. And then it's going to be Matt Montoya. The two target Chip Ganassi Chevrolets are marching to the front. Here comes the Ed Carpenter. I think it's a Chevrolet as well. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart's buddy last week, Andrew Plink, won in a photo finish in Nashville. You got DJ Curtis and Will Goss right here coming. Jordan Carter as well. And the number 34. And then you have Ben Crouch, who's finished third place in the last two events. And you have the 21 of Joshua Hyatt. These cars are getting really close because they know what they got to do. You got to pass. You seen last week at Nashville, what happens is in turn three and four at Nashville, I believe a lot of guys used to push the pass to get by the leader. They would save it, and then when they need to use it, at tracks like Atlanta and Texas, uh, they don't need it. They don't need it. They can use the draft. Will Goss looks like he got a bit of the wall almost, as you've seen him shoot back down, almost into traffic. You can see, actually, the little gap that has formed in between Goss's car and the target Chip Ganassi of, I think that's uh, Matt Montoya. Get you back to the front of the field. Sam Curtis going for the lead with Dylan Schwallenberg behind him in the Red Bull. Red Bull Honda. Trying to use all the momentum. Joey Murphy's in the middle trying to get something going. Will not work. He's now going to try to get up maybe in the high side lane. No, as Dylan Schwallenberg will lead lap number six here tonight. At Atlanta, new leader Melody Bowers to the point. Then it's right there, Alexander Rowe is the next car back. And then it is Alan Matthews, still unsponsorless for this machine. Heading next week into Indianapolis for the Indy 500. Cars are driving everywhere right now, going crazy. As right now, Alexander Rowe has got a somewhat decent lead. I think this is uh, this is Jeff Bright, the guy who almost won last week, marching through the field. Behind him, Michael Haas, and then I think that is Brendan Fuller and Max Anderson, all back here in this inside lane, trying to make that work. William Gost out of the back of the field, out of catching the wall slightly. I thought I seen some smoke come out of one of the cars, maybe sliding them tires through the corners. Those tires are going to start wearing. But Max Anderson now going to go to the point. Jack James actually going to use the flat down on the inside to make it three wide for the lead. Jack James is going to go to the point in the number seven. And you have William Flickinger back there. Philip Parker back here as well, trying to make moves. Eric Rodriguez. And then I think that's Audra back to the front of the field with last week's winner, Andrew Plank, pushing. Followed by Will, uh, Luis Hernandez and William Brock. So right there is the three previous winners in the IndyCar all in a line. Plank, Hernandez, and Brock, all the previous winners sitting in the inside row as Eric Rodriguez going to the point. Our average speed of this race is 213.3 miles an hour. Now it's 
213.4 as Audra kind of gets loose, shot off the track. Went to the middle groove as Andrew Plank is going to make a pass, trying to. Luis Hernandez tucked right behind the number 18. And then you have Andrew uh, William Brock behind Luis Hernandez. So Hernandez going to the lead or trying to. Brock going to make it three wide. The previous winners driving it in on each other. William Brock, who won at Texas, which is a lot similar to this track. Here comes Joshua Sakali to the front of the field. And then you have Patrick Stewart back to second. Will Goss is up to fourth. Goss looks like he's going to try to make a pass. Thought he was going to make a pass on jo uh, Joshua Hyatt. Or that's Tim Randolph. Thought he was going to make a move on Randolph on the flat. You can see cars starting to jerk around, move to the middle, move to the high groove. Will Goss shoots through the middle. I guess I don't know if DJ was going to make a pass on him or he just thought that was the better lane to get a run. But to the point, it's going to go DJ Curtis with Matt Montoya and Jordan Carter right behind Ben Crouch up here as well. We're not even halfway. And look at all these cars. They're all up under a blanket. Three wide. All the way back. We're three wide for rows on rows upon rows. We've seen some guys drive to the very bottom, use the flat. Ben Crouch just used it to get by Jordan Carter. Oh, Will Goss again, just moving up out of lanes. Move from the middle to the high lane without even, without even moving a lot. Just yank the car. Look at Dylan Schwanberg trying to push Melody Bowers to the front of the field. Right now, Alan Matthews and Alexander Rowe, or yeah, Alexander Rowe are back. So is Jonathan Reigns to the front of the field. Schwallenberg going to go back to the point and lead another lap here at Atlanta as they're three wide behind him. You can see as the tires are starting to wear, some cars are starting to slide up. That's what Will Goss was stating. He felt like his whole rear tires were about to come off when he got up in the bottom groove. I felt like he was going to wreck. Look at the 67. Couldn't even hold on the bottom. That thing just started shooting up a lane. Here comes Michael Haas. Uh, Matt Haas and Michael Haas. They're going to try to cross the line and be 1-2. They will be 1-2 across the line. Now Matt Haas is getting passed by Michael with help from Jeff Bright. Some cars that we've seen. Some We haven't seen a lot of cars up through the front. We've basically been naming almost the same drivers. Audra, Jack James, Jeff Bright, the Hosses have all been to the front. This is the first time I've seen Joey Murphy to the front of the field. So some cars are waiting to the end of the run to make their move to the front of the field. Jack James back to the point. Max Anderson, I believe that's the first time he's been near the front of the field. Maybe it's the second time. But I believe it's his first look at Joey Murphy trying to shoot the gap through the middle. Won't be enough as Phil Parker gets a huge run of all the open air. And it's going to push Phil Parker to the lead with that move Joey did. Eric Rodriguez sits P2. And we got a crash. Will Goss upside down. Joshua Hyatt, that's going to be our first caution of the race. We'll go see what happened. Ben Crouch looks like he might have been a part of it or he slowed down to avoid it. Luis Hernandez, though, it looks like he will be the leader coming to the line. Unless Jordan Carter can make a crazy pass, he will not do it. And Luis Hernandez is P number one. Will Goss had been complaining about a tire going down on him. Oh, I don't know if it was a tire going down or he got turned. There were four wide. Then there are three here. And then... Back to four. Oh, Ben Crouch. I don't know if he got any of it. And if he did, he got a, just a tiny bit. Melody Bowers is in the wall. Probably suspension destroyed on Melody Bowers. Probably, yeah, that's probably big time suspension on Melody Bowers. That's broke. 
Joshua Hyatt it looks like he probably won't be around at the end of this. We're going to ride on board with Ben Crouch and see if he got any bit of it. I think he slowed down enough to where he wouldn't get a piece of it. Let's go look at Will Goss's point of view. You can see that car is in pit lane. Yeah, it looks like a tire went down on Goss. It just yanked. Unless Joshua Hyatt has a different angle. Maybe Joshua Hyatt turned him. We'll go look, but I think it looked like a tire to me. If you look at their wheel to wheel. Still wheel to wheel, wheel to wheel. Oh, there's... Oh. That's a tiny, tiny amount of contact. And that was all it wrote for Will Goss to be sitting in pit lane out of the event. We're coming around now for 10 laps to go. Yeah, I think Will has now officially dropped out of the race. And we will get you back to the green flag. Welcome back here to Atlanta Motor Speedway. Will Goss has retired. The suspension was too damaged on the number 25 machine. They tried to fix Melody Bowers. And the green flag is out and we are back underway at Atlanta. Where Luis Hernandez leads. Uh, Jordan Car or Brennan Fuller. You can see Bowers and Hyatt not having great starts. They did try to repair uh, Bowers' suspension. They hit it with a hammer and just beating on it. When she came down pit road. Now it's the question. Has Ben Crouch got any bad significant damage? It looks like he might have some front aero damage. He didn't pit though. So new leader though. Looks to be William Brock. As you can see guys are now starting to drive a little crazy. Knowing that we're getting to the end of this event. As William Brock to the point. Luis Hernandez was sliding around. Jack James now to the point, or trying to go to the point. Joey Murphy up here at the end of the event. Patrick, uh, Andrew Plank to the point. Look, here comes Murphy using the bottom. And we're three wide. Ooh, William Brock getting sideways in front of Luis Hernandez. That's one of the moments where you got to check out of the gas quick in an Indy car. As now Joey Murphy losing the lead to Andrew Plank, winner at Nashville. Gave that 18 team a little bit of confidence, and he's now leading. Here comes Eric Dobbs, the guy we haven't talked about all race long. Finished second last or finished third last week in Nashville. Shooting across the top lane of the racetrack. But he's gonna get passed by William Flickinger. First time William Flickinger's been at the front of the field. As it comes down late in the race, some guys are now starting to show up. Alan Matthews is there. Zach Flickinger. Four wide, and that's a big crash, which will probably end the race. And a humongous crash has happened. Who is going to win at, at Atlanta? It looks like Zach Flickinger is going to hold him off and win at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Alan Matthews is going to be P number two. I think, hopefully, I don't know if everyone drove away from that crash. But everything got real high risk at the end. It was risk versus reward. And I think Zach Flickinger is going to win at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Over Alan Matthews. Oh. We're going to go take a look. I think Eric, it was Eric Rodriguez we saw that was slipping. Or it was Tim Randolph. One of the two. So they are slowing down a lot. And I, I believe it was Eric Rodriguez we seen take a wild ride. And that's the second event in a row that we've had a wild crash. And one of these big oval races. Eric Rodriguez stuck his nose in there knowing it was a little too late. 
I believe Sam's going to uh, brush him. Just gave him a little bump. And then Audra's right there. That's Matt Montoya. And just, oh. And you can see Eric Rodriguez's car rolls up and over. There's Joey Murphy involved. And then you can just look at Eric Rodriguez's car just rolling. Ripping that car to shreds up and over. In a violent crash, but luckily for Eric Rodriguez, he hopped out of that Indy car. There's Eric Dobbs that they're checking on his on his boss in the Silver Series. I guess Eric, see, look, Rodriguez gave him the thumbs up, and Dobbs drove away. So, and a crazy turn of events at the end of this event. There's no way we're getting back green flag. As Zach Flicking Jerry will we're well, here today at Atlanta. Your top ten is gonna be Jonathan Reigns finishing tenth. And who's gonna finish fifteenth and get the final point will be Patrick Stewart. A lot of these cars did avoid that last lap crash. This next week is Indy for the Indy 500. This pace car is out. <laughs> and this is the last lap of the event. We're going to scooch it along here. Here we come to the line. Zach Flickinger. Is gonna win at Atlanta. The lights were out on that pace car. It's Flickinger. It's telling the crew how ecstatic he is that he is now a IndyCar winner here in the ERL Exalted IndyCar Series. That's going to help him out in his run for the championship. And he, we will get you your top 15. It's Flickinger, Matthews, Audra Baranowskis, Sam Curtis, Britton Fuller, Max Anderson, Jordan Carter, Michael Haas, Eli Bright, Reigns, Brock, Montoya, Hernandez, and Rowe. And Stewart is your top 15. The rest of the field, you can look see where you finished in the chat, starting with Tim Randolph. Will be the guy that uh, you'd have to look at. So we will see you guys next week for the biggest spectacle in racing, the Indy 500. Till we meet you again next week.